Almost every serious adult chronic disease started in childhood. We need to work with children, particularly high-risk children, and try to change their trajectories if we're ever going to really change the health outcomes for the United States. In health, we often think about social determinants, uh, poverty, family background, culture, race, as being important influences on health and health outcomes. Most K programs uh, traditionally fund basic science, clinical science, but we also realize that health really extends beyond the walls of the healthcare system. Uh, it really extends into the community. And so we put a, a particular emphasis on projects that are working outside of the walls of a traditional healthcare system. It became really clear to me how important education is to health promotion and in many ways I started to feel like what was happening in schools was more important for children's health than potentially what was happening in the hospital or the clinic. There are systems that are impacting health and sometimes those systems are broken or they're not working to their fullest potential and that's really what motivated me to get into this work. Ultimately we know that education and health are intimately connected and we've been able to measure that over and over again. What I hope we can do is actually take that to the next level and not just measure that relationship but harness that relationship to improve health on a grand scale. Special Populations Program is probably the newest program within the CTSI. We focus on populations that are affected by disparities or vulnerable populations and these are usually poor, minority, potentially immigrant populations. LA County is a wonderful environment to do our type of research, which is research that studies how healthcare can improve lives and how changing the environment, changing families, changing behavior, changing lifestyle can improve ultimate health. I grew up in Los Angeles as a Cuban American and seeing huge disparities and I was committed to trying to help kids in our community and trying to shift the paradigm so we're looking at juvenile justice as a health issue and all layers, trying to keep kids out of the system. If they do need to be incarcerated, help make that as healthy as possible and then with the after period, have it be as healing, transformative and successful as possible. It's a critical opportunity, a critical juncture to connect kids to healthcare. Um, and if, I think if we successfully do that, meet unmet mental health needs, treat substance use disorders, we can greatly improve health outcomes and decrease recidivism. Faculty don't become successful by accident. We need a nurturing environment, and the UCLA CTSI provides that. We provide mentoring. We provide uh, money for research, time to do research, courses to help researchers learn about the best techniques for research. CTSI KL2 program is about funding investigators who are doing the full spectrum of translational science. That includes people who are doing basic science, but also those who are in the communities working to improve population health. What's unique about both Liz and with Rebecca is that they are working outside of the healthcare system and partnering with social institutions that directly help these individuals. I think the work that they've shown will lead to really important discoveries down the road. One of the things that has been really re rewarding for me has been working closely with my partners in education and seeing how eager they are to get the findings of our research. They want to create healthy environments, but they have a lot of competing needs. And so they actually need data so that they can go back to their decision makers and say, this is what we should be investing in. Well, everybody in this country wants a quick fix, quick fix for health problems. And unfortunately, there are no very quick fixes. The ultimate health goal is to change the trajectory of health in this country. And the only way we're going to do that is to focus both on traditional health care, but also to really work on the environment, the schools, behavior, change lifestyles, and that's going to be a slow but very important fix.